Okay, here's the story. I came here, I'm in Kenyate, Kenyate, in uh, Arizona, just south of the Monument Valley. Uh, I was forced to take this hotel room at $80, eight zero dollars um, because this is the only place in town. Yesterday I rode 340 miles. The last 140 miles were half dust storm, half snowstorm. It was snowing on the way and it was about 38 degrees. Yeah, it snows when it's 38 degrees. So I was forced to book this room. They had me by the cojones. Did all my laundry in that sink right there. Um, and I am getting prepared. I'm wearing two pairs of long johns. I'm wearing an under layer. I'm wearing a lower layer. I'm wearing a fleece mid layer. I'm wearing my down jacket. And I'm wearing two pairs of gloves because of this. So there's the bike and it's 24 degrees. So the Monument Valley is only about 20 minutes or 20 miles away. I'm gonna go slow. And then Mexican Hat's another 20 or 40 miles, 20 or 25 miles. So it'll be a round trip, 50 miles, and then go to Page, Arizona to the Antelope Canyon. Let's see how this goes. Can you guess where I am? Monument Valley, or better known as the Forest Gump Road. If I was going somewhere, I was running. Current situation. So I'm here in Page, Page, uh, Arizona. I came here to see the Antelope Valley, which is a natural slot canyon. Very beautiful, one of the most photographed places in the world. Well, the trifecta of things that made me decide not to go there. First of all, um, I was a little put off by them charging $60 to walk through a canyon for an hour. Now, I understand you have to charge for these things, they need to be maintained, but $60 to look at a, ca a canyon. Uh, so I was off put by that. Then I really didn't realize you had to make a reservation because you need a tour guide for that $60. It's actually like $65 for the cheapest one. Um, I walked over to two of the tour operators when, and they were like, they were just so rude to me. Oh, we don't have tours, you need to make it. It's like not accommodating, not helpful, you know. I'm, I'm in there trying to spend 60 bucks. Uh, and then the third thing is, is that the weather, uh, the weather is off. It's not raining, it's not cold, it's just not sunny. And I think to get the colors and the photographs in the caves, you need sun. So, not doing it. Just arrived in St. George, Utah. Uh, was planning on going. Well, was planning on going to Las Vegas, but uh, it started raining and snowing. It was the worst snow that I've ever seen. And now I am gonna go out and cover the motor bicycle in the rain. Oh God, this isn't gonna be fun. Where are my keys? That's a long ass road. Just outside of Pofferump, California desert. Let's see what we can do with the drone.
I've ridden my motorbike from California back to California. Pacific Ocean again. I haven't seen that since, oh wait, Costa Rica. Huh. Oh well, there it is, California, LAX. So I stayed at Sam's house. Do you remember Sam? That's Sam. Sam got married to Jen. It's still working out. Right? Yeah. Right now. Right now. So far, so good. Stayed at Sam's. There's a Honda guy that lives next door, and I'm heading to Honda for a meeting and then San, Santa Barbara. Thank you, Sammy. Mm. Later, big guy. Man. Oh, my hair. So I stopped by a little place uh, in Torrance called Honda, and uh, I got a special tour of the, and I, I, I'm not even a tour, they just opened the door and let me in, of the, uh, the museum. It's a, I think it's a pretty big deal, but check out these cars. My dad had this car. I wanted one of these. Oh, sick. There bugs on there. Sick. Akura. Yeah, this is a 500, I think. Dude, private tour <laughs> Honda? And there's another room in there that they may look, but they won't let me film. That probably has five, 600 bikes, like old classics, old show bikes. Uh, some new bikes that haven't come out. Oh, look at this. I brought my bike in. Oh, it's my bike. It's in the Honda Museum. <laughs> Thank you, Honda, for all the support.